Hey guys, welcome back to Brown from the BTN HD. And within this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to fix that annoying Affinity loop within Windows 7 and also Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and Windows 10. Uh, a couple of days ago, I had a user that came to my office and it was saying that their machine wasn't able to boot into their desktop or they couldn't get into the portion to do a control or delete. Uh, so the first thing that I did, I grabbed a Windows 8.1 CD, or you can do a Windows 7 CD or a Windows 8 or Windows 10, whatever. You pop it into your machine, and you boot from the CD. Now I'm on, I'm doing this on a virtual machine, so I want to boot my virtual machine. And once your machine boots up, you should get an option that says press any key to boot into the CD or DVD, like you guys just saw. So I got, oh, I got to press something. Cool, <laughs> almost missed it. So got to pay attention, make sure you don't miss that uh, that key point. So once you boot into your environment, again, you're not going to install anything. You're going to pick the option to repair the computer. All right, guys, so once your CD or DVD ROM boots up, you're going to get the nice little Windows setup. Uh, you want to click on Next. And again, you're not going to be installing anything. You're going to get a nice little option that says repair your computer. That's what we want. So when you click on repair your computer, so once the repair computer boots up, uh, I, already, I placed the Windows 8.1, so this is why it looks a little different than Windows 7. So what, you want, what we want to do is troubleshoot, and we're going to go to advanced options, and we want to run a command prompt. Now the command that you want to do is check, I believe, hopefully I spelled it right, C colon uh, forward slash F. Now the F command or the parameter for check this is to fix any error within the disk. So we're going to hit enter. Uh, again, this is a virtual machine. I don't have any problems. But if your check disk does locate a problem, it's going to fix it for you. Now another option that you could actually do is boot record or boot REC command. So we're going to do a boot REC forward slash with a question mark. And this command has four parameters. You can either do a fix MBR, uh, which actually writes to the master boot record. Sometimes the Affinity Loop does uh, cause problems in the master boot record, and you need to rebuild it and fix it. Uh, fix boot parameter, scan OS, and also reboot the BCD uh, file. This is another great tool. For me, the check this with the parameter F to fix everything worked great for me with no problem. But I think if the check this didn't work out, I'd have been using the boot record command to try to figure out what was going on. Once the check this finished, uh, it, it found about five errors and it was mostly system errors. And it fixed the problem, the person was able to boot in and it good to go. Another problem with the infinity loop could be the hard drive is probably failing. And uh, if that's the case, hopefully you get yourself in there back up your stuff and I'm hoping that you guys are backing up your stuff 24 7 which is a very important thing uh, if you can't get into your hard drive that means you gotta take it out of the machine find another machine like a, a, a one that's working see if you can make it like a slave or a USB to retrieve that information other than that guys hopefully you guys enjoy how to fix the infinity loop with Windows 7 also Windows 8 with almost all the windows uh, if you guys have any comments concern, leave them at the bottom of the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy as well as the video. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.